far. Hello to all the meeps and bubbles and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Let's Play. My name is Luma and today we are going to start off with a recap. On the previous episode we built a new power shaft, constructed a battery storage and placed down some transit tubes. We added to our solar panels, automated the egg transport from the ranches and added one more great hall. Today's plan mostly consists out of digging, excavation, cleanup, some smaller builds and improvements and sending Jean away on a business trip. But before I'm sending Jean over to the next planet, I'm going to place some commands so the duplicants have something to do while we are away. The first of the commands for the duplicants will be the relocation of our old power spine to the new power shaft. Copper is always useful. The second task will be the relocation of our emergency coal setup. Then the iron ore power spine can be replaced with copper so we have the iron ore for the steel production. Another task that I gave them is replace all the old floors with granite floors because the decor is way better as well as deconstruct our old gas pipe system in the old power shaft and connect them to the new power shaft. I also want the duplicants to excavate downwards and we have the water geyser which we are going to suck up and place in our infinite storage. Also a few more solar panels. And now we can start the day after Jean's light sleep jump through the base and into the transporter system. Goodbye Jean and good luck to wherever you land. And send you off. Here we go Jean, nice. Seriously, I just arrived here, couldn't you go a second without me? Come on Stinky, you deserve that name, sitting here in his own pee. <laughs> Leaving Stinky aside for a second, where he belongs to, where did we arrive to? We are on a swamp planet with a lot of polluted water and polluted oxygen as well as some plug slugs. That is very nice. So the first thing we want to do is build some proper room setups for Jean. For that we will need some materials first. I am just going to dig up some dirt and some metal to the left as well as to the right. Now that we have some materials let's start with the bathroom. First the wash basin and second the toilet. Game. Why? First the wash basin and secondly the outhouse. Come on Jean. <coughs> hey guys, do you see the symbol here again? Trapped on our main asteroid? What is going on? Let's take a look. Stinky again. Wait, what is this? Why is there a natural tile? Aren't those the places that we dug up last time? That seems like a bug. Yeah, totally a bug. Natural tiles all over the base. Okay, Jean, the next room for you is a bedroom. So, let's see, we need a cot. Let's place it right here. Then we need some tiles down here. But first we need to deconstruct the drywall. So, Jean, do your job. And some tiles. Seems like it is already downtime, so Jean is going to eat something. By the way, we have 12,000 calories in nutrient bars that should last a while. Jean got a bedroom now, but it doesn't count as a barrack for now. We need a plant or some decoration item. And I want to build this mini pot so we can increase the skill of Jean. <laughs> Missing animation. <laughs> yeah, nice. Ooh, now we get printables on two different planets. So let's see. Oh, Makrut, I guess Jean won't be hungry in the next time. Or we have a meep. Who is a kitchen menace and a slow learner? Nope, beep. No, also not. And Lyra, plus 22 strengths, but I guess this is a bug too. So, Makro it is. Hey guys, as soon as I pressed on the printing pot on this asteroid, the button disappeared. So I guess it is just one care package for all the asteroids that you colonized and not per asteroid. Well, the more you know. Back again on the swamp planet, we can finally build the park sign. There we go. Nature reserve plus six morale. Very nice. We need two seats, one for the bedroom and one for the mess hall. So I'm going to rip out those two because I don't want to destroy our park. Seems like it is already downtime for Jean again. Let's check what our duplicants are doing on the main asteroid. As you can see, the power shaft is almost completely deconstructed, only the gas pipes are left. The gas pipes can be rerouted, so we have the same layout, but these here can go. 
The water layout shows us that the water biome from the geyser here is being sucked up and transported down to our infinite water storage. The oxygen layout is pretty good and we have around 320 kilograms per tile of oxygen in our electrolyzer setup. In order to produce more refined metal we will need more cooling. We don't have any water right now so we are going to use either the geyser water that we have up here which I would need to reroute or we could just use our polluted water which we have 26,000 kilograms per tile right here. Well that's the better option I guess so let's check that out. Quickly reroute that and deconstruct those two tiles. We can activate a signal switch and we will have cooling again. The duplicants excavated the down parts of our base and we discovered a minor volcano. The carbon dioxide accumulated to a very high level right here, so we could put our carbon skimmer setup way down here or I guess this time I'm just going to place a gas pump and store the carbon dioxide for later. For the setup, here you can see the gas pump. This is a gas element sensor which I'm going to set to carbon dioxide. So if the carbon dioxide drops to this level, it will still suck up the gas. But if there is no carbon dioxide left, the pump will be deactivated. The gas will be pumped up to our already existing gas pipes right here and be fed to our infinite storage with the sorting system. So we don't have to do anything but connect this up. And back again to Gene. Gene should mop up all this mess here, so it's a little bit cleaner and we can deconstruct this tile so the water flows down to our plug slug. I think it is time to give Gene a new schedule because Gene works a lot in the night and it is dark and I don't like to film that. So new schedule for Gene. Right now Gene's main oxygen sources are the oxalite, the off-gassing bottles and the polluted water. Maybe we need a better oxygen source for the future. For the oxygen system I would like something very easy. I'm just going to put all the polluted oxygen in a storage, deconstruct the storage and the storage will drop some of these polluted water bottles. Then we can put a deodorizer on top and we will have enough oxygen for Gene here to work for a very long time. But for that we will need power. Right now I don't have a power source so maybe I need to ship over some coal because I can't see any coal or anything that we can burn except for this ethanol here right around the base. The Lux Lux doesn't seem to be very corroborative because we don't have any power in our jumbo battery right now. Gene, why? Just go to your bed. Oh come on. A quick stop right here. I was a little bit distracted and forgot to place a water pump anywhere so we don't have any water in our wash basin. Meaning there are some germs but it's not very bad. Just some germs in the bed and in the outhouse as well as on Gene of course. Meanwhile on our main planetoid, while Gene is being a little annoyance, the duplicants are already idle again so I need to give them more jobs to do. For now a little bit of research can do. And the pump has been built so we can set it to carbon dioxide. Also we can collect all this stuff here and keep on building. What do we have here? Maybe we take something from here or from the other planetoid. So let's see what we got there. Wait what? Oh okay so we get the same thing on both planetoids and we can decide where it gets printed. Very useful. Blossom seeds. Hmm. Gene why did I even build you a bed? Come on. For now I gave the duplicants the task to deconstruct all of our gas pipes. As you can see they are already filled but we're going to reroute them when we are back from Gene's uh, experiments let's say that. The oxygen is at uh, 1.6 kilograms, so they should survive that until we are back. Gene is finally making the room an actual barrack, as well as digging up some materials. It is Gene's downtime again, so we can go back to our main planetoid and reroute our gas pipe. Back to Gene and still sleeping on the floor, or again. Seriously, what is your problem, Gene? Are you narcoleptic or something like that? No. Oh, by the way, we now have lights because the jumbo battery was filled up because our plug slug probably slept in the right place this time. Nice. And finally some water. You go back here. Do your job, Gene. Why? No. I think we need to take a look at the priorities of Gene because Gene should be able to do everything, not just operating 
and the building. So same priority for everything. Let's see, the duplicates finished building the pipe so we can use our metal refinery again. Time to activate the switch. Okay, I already done that for the polluted water. Now we can produce iron ore to iron forever and maybe iron to steel forever. But I'm not sure how much steel I'm going to need right now. We could also produce some more refined carbon. You never know when you need it. And this one produces ceramic. By the way, in case you are wondering where these bottles come from, every time I load the game, there is either oxygen or polluted oxygen bottles lying in front of this. I have no clue why, but it seems to be another bug. And this is 215 kilograms. This is just ridiculous. For a quick task for the dupes, I place down another solar panel. Here you can see me having Gene build the most unappealing little great hall that you can imagine. At the moment, it is just a mess hall because I forgot the recreational building. Why? While Jean is eating, more research for the other dupes. Finally, was that so difficult? Okay, two things. This was unnecessary, we trapped the plug slug and we need a recreational building, of course. Here we go, nice. I gave Jean more commands so we can focus on the main planetoid and also place down some deodorizers which help with the oxygen cleanup. We got a little shine nymph right here that is very handy because our shine nymph, as you can see here, pretty much died out except for one. Sad. We found another minor volcano. As you can see, I queued up a lot of commands so the duplicates are never idle again. And I want to restore our parks. This park is still in existence, this one too. This one doesn't count anymore. I can relocate our recreational room and place more fun buildings in there. Bird, you are quite red in the face. What did happen to you? Sunburn. Okay, probably you have been at our solar panels. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. you've been digging up the abyssalite up here. So we can expand our solar panel pyramid. Nice. Okay, next nature reserve. Now we can change the recreation room with the empty room right here. Just place the water cooler anywhere in here, right there. And I'm going to uproot this one and replace it with the bluff briar and plant the uh, body butt right here. Our Draco Ranch is slowly but steadily filling up, very nice. And they are not glum as far as I see, they are happy and groomed. In the background you can see me building the improved recreational room. The jukebox will help the duplicants get more morale in their downtime. But it will use over 900 watts of power. Here you can see me expand our nature reserve because we still have some tiles left and I think I'm going to even expand it downwards more. The reason why I'm doing this is to increase the chance that a duplicate will run through a nature reserve because the nature reserve bonus doesn't last a whole cycle so we need as many chances as we get. Meanwhile, how far has Jean come? Jean has been digging a lot and that's it. Okay, so maybe we can defrost the duplicant that is in the cryo tank. The oxygen seems to be fine too. And we almost have access to the supply teleporter output so we can ship over some coal. And there is some neutronium, nice. Okay, Jean is not ready to dig through the hard stuff yet. So let's see if Jean already has a skill point. One, that's not going to be enough. Hmm. Okay, we need hard digging for now. Look at this, we have Ruby. Very interesting dupe because of digging plus three, interesting in rocketing and researching plus one. Also buff, which is another plus three strength and germ resistance, but some allergies. Ruby, I think you are welcome here. For now, let's give you the same schedule as Jean and check your priorities. Yeah, you're a dupe for all. I skipped the sleeping time of both duplicants and now they're getting a lot of digging commands as well as some building commands. They already built their bed for Ruby and now they can keep on going with their day. I forgot about Ruby's skill. Ruby can be a hard digger too. And the head. Here we go, more commands for Ruby and Jean and back to the other planet. <laughs> as you can see, they created the most beautiful abstract art you could imagine. What a waste of materials. Let's see who's our artist. Okay, we have one dedicated artist, which is Mima. Okay, so let's deconstruct this again, rebuild it and give Mima some skills in artistry. Yeah, she could use some masterwork decorating, nice. And get rid of this. Also, let's quickly check the priorities and disallow decorating for every dupe that shouldn't. 
Because I wanted to expand the steam room and suck up the gases and expand to the right, I built a little setup with atmosphere docks right here. As you can see, I hooked them up to the same conductive wire that our metal refinery and our thermoregulator are on. Right now, the potential load is over 2000 watts, but that's just because these are hooked up and I'm not using them at the moment. So there's no problem right there. And these will only be used to fill up the oxygen in the suits. And right now we only have one suit, the other ones are in the making. I guess two more are in the making. And for these two, I just don't have the materials right now. For now, let's build more metal refineries. I'm going to deconstruct the kilns and use the space for the metal refineries. Whoa, that is very nice. We got some slug eggs and we can transport it to our main base. Or we don't even have to transport it. They just appear here. Very nice. For now, I just put the slug eggs here in the storage bin. And then we can drop them on the floor. Let me explain what I did here. We need more refined metal. So I placed on more metal refineries. This uses the same bug as before. We let the pipe break and just fill it up with more water. I built a ghetto setup because I don't want to build a real setup in all this mess with the chlorine and the hydrogen in here. The power will come from the coal generators which are just producing 900 watts. Each one of those needs 1200 watts. That's what the batteries are for. The time this needs to refill will be the time that the coal generators have to fill the jumbo batteries up. Over at Uzista, Bert and Jean have gotten pretty far. The rooms are looking good and we have a lot of polluted oxygen and dug up all the polluted water and accumulated it down here. The water is still accessible because the pitcher pump is selective so it can select either water or polluted water depending on what is underneath this suck up tile. So let's see if one of those can get hard digging. Still not, okay. In order to train the duplings a little bit more, I place commands all over the base. Maybe now they can get some skill points and finally the super duper hard digging. I placed a couple more digging commands so we can focus one time lapse on the two duplicants on Uista. Also, we discovered something interesting. Do you see this giant vacuum pocket? And I guess there's another of these minor volcanoes in there. Very interesting. Never seen something like that. Also a couple more digging commands down here. In case you are wondering what happened to the time lapse here on Uistar, the Dublin just weren't digging up anything. I filmed for a couple of cycles, nothing happened. More copper, that is very nice. Or Catalina. No, undiggy. Copper it is. Here we go, a new blueprint with new copper ore. Hey guys, I came up with the design for the transit tube access points. As you can see, because of the angles we had to use, I needed more space. But I did some shenanigans, so this room counts as a nature reserve. I got four plants here, did some walls, and every transit tube access point should get their own nature reserve. Ruby finally got a skill point, so we got a super hard digging. Let's see. No, still not enough. But we can dig through the abyssalite right now. That's good. More palm lily seeds. Let's give Jean and Ruby a little bit more attention. They get a new bedroom. I'm going to relocate them from down here to up here. So it is on one floor and they will get a better food storage. Here we have carbon dioxide, which is already at minus 25 degrees. So why not use that? First I'm placing down the mess tables for the mess hall, as well as a manual generator for the lights for Jean. The Draco ranches seem to be almost filled. So I'm just going to add another one on top of this. You already know the drill. First we place the farm tiles and check that no hydrogen can escape. Then some auto sweepers as well as the conveyor loaders, the conveyor rails, the critter drop off, the shearing station and the grooming station. Hook everything up to the power and then wait for the duplicants to be finished. And for the food source smack down some meal wood so our dracos don't go hungry. <laughs> the auto sweepers totally picked up our plug slug eggs so I'm going to save them by placing them in an incubator. There they are. Look at this, we got some cool vests here. So Bert and Ellie. We have another emergency. Bert seems to be incapacitated because he was uh, sitting on a way too hot abyssal light tile and the air is 80 degrees Celsius, yeah. Barely cooking. So let's save Bert and place him in a triage cot. 
Come on, dupes, do that quickly, please. Safe bird. I think that was designed to build a proper hospital. When I say proper here, I don't mean the actual hospital room with the full functionality, but just as functional so the duplicants will survive if something happens the next time. What do we have here? Water, why not? I want to build something down here, but I need a vacuum for that, so I'm going to place some atmo suits here, a new atmo suit dock, hook it up to our gas pipes, and then I can create a vacuum down here. I jumped to a point where the duplicants are already finished with the building. I hooked up our third gas pump system, so we can fill up the atmo suits quicker. Let's check in on Jean and Ruby, they got quite far as it seems, but the oxygen is getting thinner, so maybe we have to build an oxygen system. Nice, the food is finally being transported to our very cold room. Yeah, that should do the trick. Finally Jean earned a skill point too, super hard digging for Jean as well. Let's see what we have here. Ah, warm sweater. Very nice. No, <laughs> wrong planet. Deep. Right here. And Ruby. Someone made a mess. Let's see. Oh, Mima. Mima, we have to save you. You're the best duplicate right now. Let's do that. Ooh, we have a Slickster here. That could be very useful. For now I'm planning to drop the Slickster right here. The carbon dioxide from our storage should be enough and the crude oil can accumulate down here. The Slickster cannot be wrangled up, so we have to catch him via a trap. I'm going to deconstruct the mess table and place down a trap. What did just happen? I mean look at it being smug and all. I'm going to activate priority yellow here on the critter drop off and see what happens. Now he's just taunting us. Let's feed the little bugger. Here you go, some carbon dioxide for you. I have the feeling the game is bugging out a little bit. You can see here bird is suffocating. And he's standing in the air. And I cannot move him. Oh, finally. Come on, bird. Uh, up here. Come on, bird. Save yourself. Save yourself! No! Sorry, guys, you had to witness that. I reloaded and saved bird. He just jumped from the spot he was stuck in. Seemed to be a bug. I am finally going to remove this pesky gas mix of chlorine and hydrogen to the right here. Therefore we need a liquid lock and after that is filled up with brine and a little bit of water. We can place some gas pumps in there, hook it up to the power grid and the gas will be filtered automatically through our mechanical filters on top of the infinite storages. Harold seems to be suffocating so we need one more ladder to save him. For now let's saw the bleach stone in here so it doesn't off gas in our room that we are vacuum right now. Nutrient bars, why not? Central on the base I want some transit tube access points because the duplicants need a long time to get anywhere. This should help. Yes, Ruby finally earned a skill to super hard, super duper hard digging. Now we can finally discover what is here and here. I think it's a good idea to send Jean back to the main planetoid. The stress is increasing rapidly and the oxygen is decreasing as you can see here. So one duplicate less uh, helps the other duplicate. By the way, we uncovered a chlorine gas vent here. And here we uncovered a natural gas geyser. Could be very useful. To prevent Ruby from dying, I placed a small electrolyzer setup right here. We have a pump that sucks up our polluted water, or the clean water, doesn't matter, filters it through the sieve, which needs some sand, therefore the rock crusher, and then feeds it to the electrolyzer. Then we just hook it up to our main grid and wait a very long time for the duplicate to finish it. Ooh, that's very nice, we got a plus 8 husbandry rancher do. Nisbet. Welcome to the base. Small bladder is not very bad because we can produce more water that way. Nisbet, welcome to the base. If Bird would have been any slower, we could have sent him back via the teleporter. 
He took around three and a half days to finish this. It only needs five days to recharge the teleporter. Sheen, you always want to be the special dupe. You're not starving. You're on a planetoid with over 380,000 calories. If you're taking too long in the toilet, that's your problem. Let's wrap it up for today. As you can see, Ruby is pretty stressed right now. So what did we achieve? We landed on another planet. We found a chlorine gas vent, as well as a natural gas geyser and produced some oxygen with the scatter setup so Ruby doesn't suffocate. On the main planetoid, we built a solar pyramid. One more Draco Ranch. We improved on the recreational room and built a central place for the transit tube access points in a nature reserve. Also, all the other access points are in nature reserves too, as you can see here. We did way too much excavating, but produced a lot of material that we can use in future builds. Also, more excavating down here. And one two, maybe three volcanoes. So guys, I'm sorry that this was a cleanup episode, but that was stuff that had to be done. So the next episode will be more interesting and we can finally build something. I'm pretty tired of excavating and digging stuff. So have a nice day and till next time. Bye.